Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the Rumpled One, coming to you on Tuesday, January the 9th, the year is 2024. Let's talk trading. Trading resolutions. These videos are for educational purposes only. Your results may differ from mine and differ from Walmart. Um, Walmart. <laughs> yeah, we got a new year and a lot of people make resolutions. So, um, and you just told me that uh, you don't make resolutions. So maybe you might want to go into that a little bit for the traders out there. Explain, explain my, uh, my delusion of going against the entire world and what the world likes to do. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, I mean, the reality is that when you look at people that make resolutions, right? They do it every year, you know, they stop thinking about it during the Christmas time, if they were off or whatever, and they put it in place on January 1, and by January 7 or January 8, you know, it's all, they're already broken, you know, I, I don't remember the statistics, but it was something like, you know, some ridiculous number, you know, that almost every resolution is broken, is certainly broken by March. But even by the early parts of January, most of them are already broken already. And so I just, when I was younger, I just realized that, you know, and I was part of that pattern too. You know, I, I want to go do this. I'm going to go and do that. And, you know, and what would happen is that the resolution would be broken. And so it's like, so I finally came to the conclusion, well, this is a waste of time. There's got to be something better out there. And so what I try to do is I just try to go and have a gap, what I call it, you know, a daily resolution. And what I mean by that is that every day when I get up, I try to go and do whatever I need to go and do to the best of my ability. And, you know, and that, and that, that's how I go through life. I just go and do that. You know, and that, and that means, you know, depending on where your worldview is, you know, there are going to be certain things that you can do and certain things you can't do. And that's, that's the thing, you know. I think a lot of times we get these grandiose ideas of what I'm going to go and do, you know, and make a New Year's resolution out of it because, hey, we've got an entire year going to do it. We should be able to do this. We set some lofty goal that's out there that's just completely unattainable, you know, and so that that's why I kind of walked away from that idea. So what do I do? I do go and set up, you know, I have a 10-year plan. i got a five-year plan. i got a one-year plan. You know, and the, those are the plans I have, and they're always in effect. They're in effect on January 1, and they're on, and they're on effect on December 31, you know, and and that's kind of how I try to go and live life. You just, you're constantly working towards that. And the advantage of having a plan like that is that, you know, if I go, you know, I'm not a smoker. I never was a smoker. Well, let's say I was. Let's say my my my, uh, my New Year's resolution was to go and quit smoking. Well, if I break it on, you know, January 3rd, well, the reality is you're most likely just not going to go back to it. So what I do is because I have a plan, a one-year, you know, five-year, ten-year plan, it's the type of thing, if I screw up today, it's no big deal. Tomorrow's a new day. It's a new start. I get to go and do it again. I get to have a new resolution tomorrow. And that's how I kind of go through life It's just get go and set my life up that way. And I think that that's just a better way of looking or a better outlook of doing things. Because you know what? We're human. We make mistakes. We mess up. You know, the market goes against us when we're talking about trading. Life goes against us when we're talking about life. And the thing is, I can get up tomorrow morning and I get, I get a do-over. That, that's the great thing about doing it that way. And, and I think that that applies to trading as well. You know, you can get up this morning and you can mess up. You know, you can mess up bad, you know, and as long as you don't go and blow your account up, you can get up tomorrow morning and uh, re have a reset. Yeah, you may have to reset it with a, a different you know, different amount that you're able to risk because you made a mistake yesterday, but you're able to reset. And that's the goal, I think, and that's, you know, in my trading plan where I have the, that, that very first line, the number one goal is to preserve capital at all costs. Well, that's the reason why that's there, because if I have that there, I can have my daily resolution to go on into perpetuity because I always have the ability to come back tomorrow, even if I mess up, even if I'm learning something and I, you know, and I just don't get it yet and I'm still 
trying to get down. Um, maybe it's, uh, you know, whatever it may be, you know, I'm able to go and continue. And, you know, I, I've said this a bunch, you know, in this trading game, the, the number one thing I think about this trading thing is you got to get down. It's not your method. It's not anything. It, 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 it's, it, it, it's even bigger than money management. And that is the, is that, is that word discipline. You got to go and be able to go and do what your trading plan says to do, because until you can do that, you can have the best money management plan in the world. It's not going to do you any hill of beans. You can have the best method of entry. It's not going to do you any good if you don't go and execute it correctly. You can have the best exit plan out there. It's not going to do you any good unless you have the discipline to go and do it. So the number one thing that you got to do is work on your discipline. And the great thing about working on your discipline, again, is that you, I can can I can work on it today and hopefully make some strides forward and. Tomorrow I get to work on it a little bit more and a little bit more the day after that. And if I have a bad day, well, all it is is a setback. I, I, you know, I get set back a little bit, but as long as I stick to the plan, I can go and just continue to work on it. And that's, that, that's my outlook on life. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, you said something there about discipline and um, I read, you know, a lot, uh, I get different a lot about um habits and and they talk about discipline and discipline is something that can wear out they say and so you have to do something that's even beyond discipline it's like you have to turn things into a habit and you have to create an environment where it's hard not to do what you say you're going to do and it's easy to not do what you say you're not going to do. So, you know, like if you're a, a, a chipaholic, meaning you like potato chips or, or corn chips or whatever, but, you know, for whatever reason, you, you have to stop eating them. Well, then the first thing you have to do is get all the chips out the house. <laughs> and so it makes it really hard for you to eat chips when there's no chips around. Um, so right. you have to, I guess, remove temptations. So in trading, if you have a problem setting your stop loss, then what you need to do is find an EA that constantly looks, are there open trades without stop losses? And if there are, it'll just pop a stop loss in there for you. Um, that way, um, you've got, now you have a trading environment that it's impossible to trade without a stop. You'd either have to A, um, forget to turn on um, the uh, auto trading button um, because so long as that auto trading button's on and that EA is enabled for auto trading and it's it's on one of your charts, you're not going to have a trade for more than you know a second <laughs> that uh, doesn't have a stop loss. So because yeah. I think you like to call it putting up bumpers, so. If, yeah. if that's what you fail to do, um, that's what you have to do. You now have an environment that supports what you say you want to do. Um, and the other thing is, you know, we're talking about, you talked about sticking to a plan. But um, the thing is about the plan is sometimes you're trying to achieve too much like you know by the end of the year i plan on driving a lambo from you know paid for in cash from my trading profits well <laughs> um that's you know unless you've already hit certain thresholds like you maybe one year you made ten thousand and the next year you made 20 and the next year you made 40 you know and you know and you're on the 80 um chances are you're probably not going to be able to get that Lambo unless you just get really lucky, <laughs> especially if you're only used to trading maybe, uh, you know, maybe you're only trading a mini lot. Because I notice a lot of traders out there when they post their charts, you know, it looks like they're trading a mini lot. I don't see too many traders um, who, are, who are posting, uh, you know, 10 lots or more. And I... I don't know too many of them who are trading with real money because most of the real money traders I know are usually trading 
on, on you know any single entry five lots or less you know and that's including myself every now and then you know i might throw a hail mary to get myself out of a jam you know where i put a 10 lot trade on or something um but you know that's that's not too often so you know that's just reality checks and the thing about plans one of the things that makes it hard to to stick with the plan or easy to uh abandon the plan as if you know you're you're reaching for the stars as opposed to you know just going up the next step and so there's something they like to call the the mi minimum viable effort um you know going to the gym you know if you say you're going to go to the gym well what's you know you say okay i'm going to go to the gym at least once a week well that's better than zero times a week and it might not be that hard to hit once a week because you know if it's thursday um and you only like to go to the gym monday through friday if you don't get out there on thursday then tomorrow you've got to do it so because you just want to keep that streak going and in fact i have a uh, little um, blank um, Excel template that I, I print out and it's just basically a grid and uh, across the top are the numbers 1 through 31 so it's a monthly grid and then down the left hand column it's you know the different things I want to do and once I start putting you know check marks on there um, I don't want to break the streak so I've got a little visual reminder and I find that to be helpful. So the whole idea is in these in a trading resolution is you, you probably want to stop doing something that you shouldn't be doing, you know. And I've been reading a lot lately. It just keeps coming, and maybe the universe is trying to tell me something where it says that in order to be successful sometimes the key is doing less stupid as opposed to more smart to kind of paraphrase um, the, the writings and sometimes it just requires removing one thing um, and it's kind of like uh, some of you might have heard that you know I'm in a union um, and we lost members last year and I keep trying, and I'm on the board of directors now, and I keep trying to tell people, it's like, there's a reason we're losing members, and you guys are need to quit reading your own press releases and, you know, focus on the, the main reason unions exist. Um, what's that got to do with trading? Well, if you get away from the main reasons why you're trading and the main things that you're supposed to be doing, then the results are you're probably going to be losing as opposed to winning. So like at the unions, we're losing members as opposed to gaining members. And, you know, that's just something, you know, I think it's easy to see these patterns once you uh, know what to look for. And the, you know, doing less stupid <laughs> um, it is is sometimes better than trying to be so dang smart. Yeah, I would I would have to go and agree with what you're saying there, sir. You know, the, the whole idea of doing less stupid, you know, and just it will automatically put you into a place where, you know, you're you're above heads and tails above everybody. Yeah, and you know what? fastest 15 minutes in trading is just about over so fellow traders um i hope your new year is profitable so far and i hope if you made any resolutions whether they're uh trading resolutions or life resolutions that um they come true for you but you're gonna have to work it you know make the plan work the plan follow the plan etc you've heard it you know probably ad, noise, ad nauseum, but there's just some truth to it. Just like, it's not what you trade, it's how you trade it. So go out there and drain the banks. This is the rumpled one, over and out.